Okay, here's my tool holder that I made. I think it's uh, I think it's pretty handy. I made it out of acrylic, which I think is pretty neat because you can see through it. And um, personally, I'm kind of a uh, artistic type person, so not only does it have to work and function well, but uh, it must have some practical use as well. I also added these handles in addition to the one inch rubber bumpers on the bottom. And I noticed the piece I ca came with the Tormach uh, kit, I think I paid $24 for it. The holes are slightly larger than I cared for, so I actually reduced the diameter of the holes so the tools don't move around very well, if you notice they're pretty tight. In addition, I cover all my tooling. Um, I learned my lesson pretty quickly. Uh, I actually have a uh, tool here that is designed specifically for plastics and uh, acrylics and it is razor sharp. This particular tool will cut your hand open just as fast as a razor blade. So I keep my tools covered and I keep them encased. I think it's smart. Uh, if you reach over a tool or you're trying to grab something you don't have to worry about being cut. So uh, I'd like to add my Heimer measurement tool a recommendation from Roy, which uh, I find to be incredibly helpful and very efficient. But uh, I wanted to show you the, the tool holder. As you notice, there's this is about a one inch thick acrylic material, and you need about 1.4 inches for the tool height. So the addition of the one inch bumpers adds the uh, necessary height to keep the tooling floating and it is incredibly useful with the handles. I'll be building a shelf in the garage to hold this. Uh, it'll hold 15 different tools, but it's not a problem if I want to add to them. I have conveniently open in front of me uh, a Libre in which I actually designed this tool uh, with the help of uh, a couple people at Tormach. Obviously, they're really very good at this uh, material, but then I you, uh, designed it in a Libre and then I export it and I put it in a Sprut Cam. So let's hop over to Sprut Cam and after you've programmed the steps, you can actually watch the tooling create the product. And uh, uh, forgive me for a second, I actually started the uh, tooling from the third step in the machining process. So let's go back and let's reset it and uh, start it from the beginning. So you can see it running its course in a very expeditious manner. I actually sped it up and I drilled through the material uh, it's a one inch piece of material, so I drill through about 1.2 inches. Uh, it finishes it better that way, and you know you don't have anything on the bottom. So, uh, and that's the completed piece that I end up uh, taking out to the machine. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, but with that said, uh, very happy with the final, final piece. I think uh, it's very useful. It's. Uh, and it also looks good too. So the two of those things combined together make a, a very useful, uh, very useful product. So anyway, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask away. In the future, I'll probably be taping these directly on the computer so you can see uh, and get a better reference for what's on the screen. But uh, I will tell you that the Alibre and Sprut Cam combination. Uh, two pieces together working, or two pieces of software work incredibly well. And obviously, you can see from the results, they're, they're very nice as I remove some of the tooling. It's a very nice piece. And, uh, you know, I'm very, I'm very much a neat freak, so I like to have my stuff clean. And uh, this stuff has actually been used pretty heavily over the last couple of weeks, and yeah, you couldn't tell. Uh, anyway, these things will be going back out to the garage to keep my machine company. If I ever need to expand the tooling, uh, this will hold 15 different tools, it's not a problem. I can easily add more holes to the device or I can leave it as is and have a couple. I like having it small, I like having it portable and mobile because I can take tools with me, I can take measurements, it's, it's mobile and it's light and I like that. And I don't want too many tools because then it becomes cumbersome and difficult to move around. So anyway, if you have any questions let me know and I'll add some more as I, uh, as I uh, produce more projects.